Good morning, everybody. You are welcome to another math class in another wonderful week on this our awesome learning platform. I'm sure you are really enjoy yourself and you are learning quite very fast. Today in mathematics class, we'll be talking about profit and loss, part two of it. If you remember, we started the topic last week, and I told you some things about profit and loss. We have we looked at how to look for profit, how to look for loss. We also talked about how to look for profit percent and loss percent. And then we also looked at what cost means and what selling price means, what cost price means and what selling price means. We also talked about what profit means and what loss means. And I told you that profit is sending us gain. That was what all what we did in our last class. And how do you determine, determine if somebody has made a profit or if the person has made a loss? You notice how do you calculate it? For profit and for loss the formula for calculating profit and the formula for calculating loss those are all the things we did in in the profit and loss part one class now we are going to the next class which is how to calculate when uh, for, uh, for selling price and how to, how to look for cost price when the percentages are given so i want you to pay close attention to this class get your writing materials and pay attention and do your workings along with me as i do i am still mrs olayinka i'm so excited to have you on this wonderful learning platform now this is that man climbing on the ladder of profits and the businessman is making profit and is excited i told you last week that every business has the mind of making gain making profits if you have a business you must make profits if you're not making profits in your business then you should be able to sit down and re-strategize see what you can do because profit is the main thing you cannot be having a business and be making losses if you are making a loss as a trader or as a business man or woman then you should sit down and see what you need to do to do better now at the end of this class you should be able to tell me if you'll be able to, to be able to find selling price when you are giving cost price on and profit percent percentage you should be able to find selling price when you are giving cost price and loss percentage don't forget this is look for selling price when you are giving cost price and profit percent then if you able to look for selling price again when you're giving cost price and loss percentage you should be able to look for cost price now cost price not selling price again this two is selling price selling price when you're giving please i want you to pay attention to the class because I don't want you to be confused. There are different formulas I'll be using, and I want you to pay attention so that when you're looking for anything, you know which one you're losing. You keep looking for, and you know the more formula to use. So this is this two is for selling price, looking for selling price. So this other two is when you're looking for cost price, cost price. So when you're looking for cost price, you find that cost price when given price we give it selling price and profit percent and we're giving selling price and loss percent so we're looking for four occasions four different occasions and they are all having their different formulas so i want you to pay attention okay now you can see like i told you before every business is out to make what profit every business is out to make profits and you can see that money there emphasizing the need for profit now finding selling price let's start with finding premium price when the cost price and cost percentage is given how to find selling price when cost price and cost percentage is given now when the cost price and profit percent are given we can easily find the selling price using the formula now this is a formula 100 percent minus profit 100% minus profit over 100 times cost price times cost price I hope you can see it very well 100% plus profit minus cost price times cost price 100% plus profit over 100 times cost price this is over 100 times cost price 100% plus profit 
divide by 100 times cost price. Now let's see a scenario. Let's see a worked example. A worked example here. Mr. Faiga bought a radio set for 600 naira and sold it at a gain of 60% to find the selling price. Now we don't forget we're looking for selling price. Okay, now they've given us the profit and the profit percent. We're looking for selling price. Now there's a solution. The cost price is 600 naira. The selling price is not given. That's what we're looking for. And the profit is 60%. Don't forget the formula is 100% plus the profit, which is 60%, divided by 100 times 60 over 1. So 100%, 100 plus this 60%, that's the gain, that's the profit, 60% over 100 times cost price times cost price. So what do you do? You divide. Zero cancel zero. Zero cancel zero. Then you now see 100 plus 60 give you what? 160. Times 6 will give you what? 960. That's the answer. 960. I hope you understood to this level how I was able to get my selling price in this question. The cost price has been given. Don't forget the price at which you bought a particular product is called the cost price. And the price at which you sold it is the selling price. Now here, the cost price is 600 are given. And then the, the profit percent is given. Now you want to look for the selling price. Now you now say 100 plus your profit percent over 100 times the cost price. You can type to say 100 plus 60 is 160 over 100 times 600 before you start cutting it. And if you don't want to do that, you can do use this in second method. 0 cancel 0, 0 cancel 0. 100 plus 60 to give you 160 times this 6 that is remaining here. Give you 960. That's how we got our 960 as the answer. Okay. Now let's look for the second one, which is, I told you we have four learning objectives for this class. This is what we have done the first one. Let's now look for how to look for the selling price when the, when the cost price and loss percentage is given. Cost price, when giving, finding selling price when cost price and loss percent is given. Don't forget the previous question was finding selling price when the cost price and Profit percent is given. Now we are looking is loss percentage is given. Now, when this when we want when the cost price and the loss percent are given, the selling price is easily found using the formula. Now the formula is here: hundred percent minus the same thing, but this time around is loss percent, not not uh, profit, not profit percent, loss percent, loss percent over hundred. Times cost price. Don't forget when, you, when the when it was profit percent we are looking for it was plus we use plus or profit percent. When if it's a profit percent that is given, profit percent that is given, you use plus. You use plus. And if it's loss percent you're looking for loss percent, you use minus. Okay. Now let's go to the worked example. Finding the selling price of an article which was bought for one one ten error. And was sold at a loss of 25 percent this is a loss percent and let's go we have cost price which is 10 error and loss per se 25 so what do we do 100 percent minus 25 percent divided by 100 times cost price which is 10 so what do we do 100 minus 25 will give us what 75 75 over 100 times 10 so what do we do? You cut it, 0 cancel 0, you have 75 over 10. 75 over 10. So what do you get it? Remove your 0 from here, down, if it comes here, 7.7.50. 7 That's the answer. 7 error 50 cup. 7 error 50 cup. That's the answer. Do you understand? To this level? Okay, let me say it again. Your cost price is given. Your loss percent is given, and then what do you do? 
100% minus. I told you when you look we are giving loss percent, you use minus. So you subtract 25% plus from 100%, you now divide it by 100 times your cost price, which is 10. Now you get your 75%, 100% minus 25% give you 75% over 100 times 10. This zero in this 10 times, comes with this zero in this 100, we have 75 over 10. 75 over 10, if you move your zero from this place, one decimal place, you come here, you have 7.5. 7.5 is the same thing as 7 over 50 cover. That's your answer. Do you understand to that level? Good. Let's quickly go to the de next one. We're looking for cost price. The first two examples, we look for what? What? Can anybody tell me? Look for what? Selling prices. Good. And the first example, they give us profit percent. And the second example, they give us uh, loss percent. Now, in this place, we're looking for cost price. Cost price. When find, finding the cost price, when giving the selling price and profit percent, don't forget they give us profits for things and they give us selling price. We're looking for cost price. We're looking for what? Cost price. And they are giving us what? Selling price and profit percent. They are giving us the two. Now we're looking for what? Cost price. So when, when the selling price and profit for things are given, we can find the cost price using the formula. This is the formula. Selling price divided by one. Selling price divided by one times 100 divided by 10 percent plus plus profit percent profit percent Do you get it selling price divided by one times 100 over 10 percent plus profit percent now let's look at the works example what is the cost price what is the cost price of an article Given the selling price, we gave the selling price, price and green profit as 40%. So selling price is 40% and then gain profit as 25%. Okay, respectively. Now the solution. The cost price equals to 40 divided by 1. I told you before. 40, the selling price divide by 1 times 100 over profit percent okay okay plus profit percent we now have you can see to this essay we have 40 over 1 times 100 over 25 percent plus 100 Now we have 40 over 1 times times 40 over 1 times 1, 20, 25 plus 100 will give us what? 125. 100 over 125. Okay. Now what do we do? We begin to cut it. What do we do? Begin to cut it. I hope you understand what I'm trying to explain to you now. So, like I said, so 40 over 1 times 100 over 1 to 5. I hope you remember I got my 1 to 5, 25% plus 100% to give us 125%. Now, we want to cut our figures to get right out our answer. Now we have, let's cut it with 5. 5 and 125, let's say 5a, 5 and 12, give us 2, 5 and 25, give us what? 5. So when 5 and 125, give us 25. Then 5 and 100, it give us 20. 20. I hope you're writing it down on your jotter. I hope you're following me on your jotter. 20. Now I have 25 here. 5 and 25 will give us 5. 5 and 20 will give us what? 4. Okay. Now we're coming along with me. Then 5 here, 1. 5 here, 5 and 40 will give us what? 8. Okay. Then we have 8 here, 4. 8 over 1 
times 4 over 1. 8 over 1 times 4 over 1. 8 times will give us what? 32. That's how we are about to answer. They just 32. I hope you understood. Let me say it again. I said, what is the cost price of an article given the selling price and gain, and gain profit at 40% and 25% respectively? This word respectively means 40% is going to, for, to selling price and 25% is going to profit, gain profit. I hope you understand that. 40% is going for selling price and 25% is going for profit percent. Okay, that's profit percent. That's the profit, gain profit, profit percent. Okay, so now we have our 40% for selling price and 25% for our profit percent. Profit percent. Profit percent is 25. Okay. So, what is this working? Let me quickly go over it again. I will not say 40, that is selling price over 1, times 100 over profit percent plus 100%. Profit percent plus 100%. Okay. Now we have 40 over 1 times 100 over 1, 2, 5. Do you understand to this extent? Okay. Now let's cut it. 5 in 1, 2, 5. So let's say 5 in 12 is 2. I mean that's 2. 5 in 25 is 5. So we have 25. Then 5 in 40 will give us 8. Then 5 in 25 will give us 5. 5 in 100 will give us 20. 5 in 5, 1. 5 in 20 will give us 4. Then we have 8 times 4 will give us 32. That's how we got our 32 here, 32 here, and 32 here. Is that okay? Okay. Let's quickly go to the last working, which is cost price. Looking for cost price when selling price and loss percent is given. Now the formula is the same thing. Selling price over one times hundred over hundred percent minus loss percent. Don't forget when we look for the cost price and the loss profit percent was given, we used plus hundred percent plus the profit percent. But in this case, we have given we have, we have been given loss percent, so we're going to say hundred percent minus loss percent. Okay, let's go to the go to the work example. We have a man sold a clock, a clock for hundred naira, losing 20, 20 naira. What is the cost price? A man sold a clock for hundred naira, losing twenty percent. What is the cost price? Now, what is the solution? We have cost price equal to 100 divided by 1 times 100 over 100% minus 20%. That's percentage loss. The 20% is percentage loss. Loss percent. Okay, loss percent. is 20%. So, 100 over 1 times 100 over 100 minus 20 percent that will give us 100 over 1 times 100 over 80. You got your 0, 2 year 4, 2 year 5, 4 year 1, 4 in 100, 4 in 10 is 2. 4 in 10, 2, 4 in 20 is 5. So we have 25 times 5. It gives us 12.5. That's the reason. That's how we got our 12.5 here. Do you understand now? Let me ask, go over it again. 
Since Iman sold a clock for 100 Naira, losing 20%, what is the cost price? Now we're looking for the cost price. And the big loss, loss percent and the, the selling price. 100 Naira is the selling price. Selling price is 100 Naira. Okay, now the solution is we look for the write the formula out 100 over 1 times 100 over 100 minus 20. This 20 being the loss percent. Now you say 100 over 1 times 100 over 100 minus 20 will give us 80. Then you cut your workings out and you arrive at the answer 12.50. That's how you go to 12.50. Yeah. Okay, now you have this questions to ask yourself and give yourself sincere answers. It's a good time to sit down and think about your business. Is it making profit? Is it making loss? How have I achieved my profits? How can I invest in my equipment? Now, after you've done that, let's come to conclusion page. We have been able to find cost price when selling price and profit percent is given to us using the formula. We can also find the cost price when selling price and loss percentage is given using the formula. So it is supposed to be using the formula, using the formula, using the formula. Now we can also find selling price when the cost price is given, given, and profit percent is given. We can also find the selling price when the cost price and loss percent is given. You have to get use of the of the different formulas to be able to work with any occasion that you have been given. Now let's find out what we can do here. I want to find out what. We have been able to learn in this class. I rather bought an article for 75 naira and sold it at a profit of 24%. A profit of 24%. Find the selling price. Okay, now you have been given selling price. You have been given selling price. You have the selling price. You have not been given. So you have not been given a selling price, so you have to find it. But you have been given an article. I rather bought an article for 75 naira. And sold it at a profit of 24 naira. Now you have given cost price. That's the amount the trader bought the article. You have given cost price as what? 75 naira. And you have given a profit percent of 24%. Profit percent of 24. Profit percent of 24. Okay, now find the selling price. I want to quickly work it out for me and let's see. Who got the correct answer i wanted to do it correctly using my formula for finding selling price when profit percent is given quickly do that and then we'll go i want to believe that you have been able to learn one or two things into this class i will be sending my class activity tomorrow i want you to settle down and do it very well and then you get your marks thank you for your time and your patience if there's any question you want to ask you can call me on my line or you can send your mail to my email in front of this page of this page of this slide i'll be expecting you thank you so much bye